Today is Friday the 27th of April and today me and Lucy are going to go back to Farnham. Yeah. Farnham is the place where we both met when we went to university. We went to an, an arts university. Some people say that's not a proper university but I say it is. Um, and we haven't been back since we graduated in 2008. So it's like 10 years later, we're going back. I'm going to try and dress a bit student-y, a bit younger, so hence sunglasses. I don't know what students dress like now. I'm going to go looking quite cool and they will be wearing like blazers and ties. And the university will probably have their own uniform for everyone, which has completely changed. But we're going to go and check out the old uni, the campus. But to help us look like students, I'm going to be um, carrying some books and having a satchel. And Lucy's going to be bringing her degree with her, just in case, you know, someone asks to see it. <laughs> be good. <laughs> Uh, you meant to be here? Yes, I have a degree. Oh, very sorry for bothering you. <laughs> We've got a three hour drive in the car, so I'm just going to cut to us in Farnham right now. Boom. So we're now going to look at the student village. This is where we used to live in our first year of coming to uni. Show you where I used to live and where Lucy used to live. Um, and the steps where we first met and started our friendship. Which turned into a relationship, so here we are. The University for the Creative Arts. This is so weird. I'm this is weird. <laughs> okay, let's go. Oh, wow. This is so weird, isn't it? Already, I'm like, boom, 10 years ago. What number did you live at, Lucy? Eight, nine, all the stoners. Okay, that's fine. There we go. We are back. My, my room is at the back, isn't it? Should we go and have a look at 89? Obviously, we, you know. Can't go in. Strange, isn't it, being here? You still up and down here every single this is like day. A dream. <laughs> yeah, 89. That's where it all used to happen, wasn't it? Should we pass oh, through and go to the statue? Oh no, let me show everyone. I'm pretty sure, oh, you see, it was these steps here. There was a house party going on, and I'm pretty sure it was these steps that we stood on and we started chatting. And I was really drunk, and then we were like, hey, we both do animation. And then we went and started chatting a bit more through where the, the statue is on, on the green. So we head that way? Let's go and have a look at the statue. It was a very weird statue. We'd, we never actually even knew what it was. Yeah, it's what we were 89. Uh, so this is like uh, where we walked into a smendrick that time on one of the vlogs, wasn't it? And I was all sitting here having a smoke. Oh, so many memories. That's it, yeah. So this is the famous wing. That tiny window up there, that was Lucy's room. That one there? That little one, yeah. That was your room. Yeah, I have a little room. And you used room. to lean out the back window and smoke, didn't you? After we met at the steps, I had a few drinks and got to know each other. I remember we came here and we sat on that little ledge there, didn't we? Exactly. And I was Sky. telling you I was telling you all about myself and you weren't really interested. I think Sky. I was, I was just shy. When we first started here, all the students were like having a party. It was Freshers Week. Freshers and there was this massive accident because that little bridge there, happened. that walkway, it was all on there getting drunk and then it actually fell down and people got injured. They rebuilt it before we left. What, this here? Yeah, it was that bridge. Yeah. There's a way to the car park through here and then we can see the back of where my flat was. Yeah. So my flat was this kind of block here, the cheap 80s build. They've got like mirrored windows so you yeah, can't see. They didn't know people could see in because I remember people laughing at me when I was trying to work out with weights. <laughs> it's really funny. Um, I thought I nearly like, had water burst out of my nose this time. But it's, it, this is uh, my flat. But uh, let me point to it on here. So my flat was where my fingers are there. I'm going to cut to some footage of me doing something in my room over there. Oh, and I'll try and overlook this Wait. car park. That's why I did the gorillas video, where yeah, I, yeah, I, I dressed up like the gorilla it? and I went Feel good, feel good, feel good, feel good Basically first day of uni, uh, I would have come out there and I would have gone down, down here into the courtyard down there and then we kind of waited and that's where we all met for our classes, obviously I never met you then but I made friends with like Scott, he was my first friend here, I remember. that was good I remember Roland trying to balance on this and falling and landing on his back on it. Did you remember seeing Hilarious, that? no. It wasn't hilarious, it was bloody awful. <laughs> I really find it was weird. Oh my god, look, look at those things, those booby things on the wall. They still got the booby things on the wall. This is awesome, man. It's like we've never left. I love it. So we've still got the artwork that they had when we was here. 
This is different though, isn't it? The green is different. Yeah, the AstroTurf, the ping pong table. The shed over there wasn't there when we were here. Where are you, I don't really know how much more we can film. The signs say like students wear lanyards. So obviously, you know, security is quite good. Which is good, we never had to wear them, but... Yeah. Yeah, so that's the art shop. That's like, this is actually where my, my bike got in, stolen. To get into the comedy? Oh yeah, because we used to have comedy nights and they used to queue here. Yeah, so the comedy nights that I used to heckle. Remember, queuing for the comedy. Yes. And what was his name? Rufus Hound? Yeah, Rufus Hound performed here while we were students. It was up there, in this block, a bit further down. Yeah. That's where we did the life drawing, wasn't it? Yeah. And I always remember life drawing because like me and Lucy, um, it's when we started going out and uh, our eyes would always lock across the room. It was very much like that scene, wasn't it, from Romeo and Juliet, like when they're looking through the fish tank. But instead of looking through a fish tank, it was between the legs of a naked 68-year-old man with saggy balls. <laughs> The funny thing about uh, life drawing is that I used to, because um, I always wanted, the, the life drawing people used to walk around and, and look at the pictures and I always wanted them to like mine so I always drew their penises a little bit bigger just to, uh, yeah. What was it as a lady, would you draw bigger boobs? Bigger penis. A bigger penis yeah. than the lady. Ladies didn't like me much. <laughs> so this is the main entrance. Okay, we're going to go check out the sculptures. Oh, it's the two dudes off Britain's Got Talent, Lucy. Yeah, they were on Britain's Got Talent, it was amazing. I don't remember that. That looks like just a pile of metal. I don't know if that's kind of eroded over time and gone a bit weird. No, I don't think so. That's how it's meant to be. I do remember this this oh, table and chair. It's a funny story here. We went to student union one night in the first year and Lucy got a bit homesick and a bit upset and sad and she ended up kind of just like bailing on everyone in the student union and she disappeared. And I was like, where's Lucy? So I came out to find her because I cared so much about her. And she didn't go home, she wasn't answering her phone. And I actually found her sitting in this garden, sitting on that chair, crying. And then I took her home and then sat her down. And that's when I knew that I loved this girl because I just wanted to take care of her. It didn't matter about the girlfriend you already had. A bit weird, <laughs> but, um, you know, it was meant to be and here we are. And so this, this fantastic table and chair with the udders on um, means so much to me. Maybe I should get that tattooed on me. And I always tell the kids that it was. And I'd be like, because that's where your mum was crying when I realised I wanted to look after her forever. So sweet. I'm getting emotional. I mean, we managed to kind of get a little bit of uh, video in the kind of courtyard area of the uni but all students have to wear lanyards now so we can't go into the university because we'll more likely be challenged and we don't want to get in trouble so we're going to go in now because they've got an exhibition on so we'll have a look at the exhibition and i'll ask someone to just wandering and look at the exhibition? yeah of course it's open to the public i'll, I'll speak well, to because they always are okay and i'll speak to someone on reception and see if they have like a uni a store where we can buy a t-shirt or something so we just came back and spoke to the nice people on reception and they give us some visitor passes so we can come and get some uh, student well some t-shirts from the student shop Oh, that's nice of them, isn't it? Just bits of the lovely people in the student union gonna sort us out some uh, some merch. A hoodie and a t-shirt. This is this is awesome. We can be proud of our education. Uh, yeah. Wow, it's definitely changed in here. Yeah, it's so different. Got the pool room, but like it's quite different. Because yeah. You have the bar, didn't you, across that? The stage area is gone. It's quite strange, isn't it, how different it is from when we were here. But anyway. I remember like in the in the second year, Lucy, when we were here, it was uh, obviously it was where everyone was drinking and I was around this area where this young lad came up to me and he said to me, I've seen your life of a student videos because he was someone that was potentially going to come here. Yeah. Um, so my first year I uploaded the videos and he watched them and he recognised me and that was really kind of cool. And that's the only time that's ever happened in my life that someone's recognised me from <laughs> my YouTube videos. <laughs> I'm going to have a look around. Someone cooking an egg projected on a frying pan. It's nice. Just projecting pictures you see on the train. Come to lots of train tickets. I feel really inspired being here. This is amazing. That's really nice. 
some really good stuff here, Lucy. That's a lady in a bath, isn't it? It's really clever. Okay, so we've got our merchandise. Lucy's got a sketchbook. We're, we're gonna leave now. <laughs> it's been lovely. We're gonna go and get some lunch, charge the phone, and then we're gonna go see our old house in Eaton Place. All right, thank you. Goodbye, UCA. Okay, let's go put the book in the car. Is it get ruined if it gets wet? I want to wear my, my Farnham t-shirt now. <laughs> <laughs>